I'm Glenna Cleek with Encore of First United Methodist Church in Benton. Every year on the first day of school, I would see my former students walk down the hall, past my classroom, going to their new classroom for the year. And they would look longingly into my room like they just wanted so much to come back to what was familiar to them from the year before. But you know, I always noticed that within a few days, they had adjusted readily to their new classroom, their new teacher, and their new classmates. Children are resilient, and they adjust to change very easily, sometimes a lot better than some adults do. We face a lot of transitions in our life, and you just think, four times a year, we transition from one season to another. Once a year, we transition from one age to being a year older. And then there are other kinds of transitions that we have to make that, are, um, that take a lot of big time adjustment, such as graduating from high school or college, getting married, having children, starting a new job, moving to a new place. Life has lots of changes and lots of times of transition. Change is inevitable, and we just have to learn to adjust to it. Just like my little first graders who had to go on to the second grade, we can't stay where we are. We have to move on to the next thing. We have to not stay in the past and the security that it offers, but we must be willing to accept change. The one constant in the world, in this world of change and transition, is God. Despite a changing world all around us, we have a loving Lord who is changeless. Hebrews 13.8 says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if we focus on that fact, we can place our faith in Jesus, whose love for us is eternal and never changes. I'm reminded of the story of the Israelites as they were about to cross the Jordan to go into the Promised Land. For 40 years, Moses had guided them under God's direction. But now he has to tell them that he will not be going across with them, that they will have a new leader, Joshua. And Joshua is going to be their leader now. Joshua certainly had big shoes to fill, and he had a big responsibility I wonder if he, if he ever felt overwhelmed. Yet Moses said to him in Deuteronomy 31, 8, The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you, and he will not fail you or forsake you. Now he had said almost those same words to the Israelites who were facing their own transition by, by uh, losing one leader and having another leader come along. He had said to them, The Lord your God is the one who goes with you. This next few weeks, our church will be going through a transition time as we welcome our new pastor, Rev. Keith Dodson. What an exciting time for our church and for him, for we know that it is the Lord our God who has gone ahead of us and him. Encore will be, will be um, hosting a gathering to welcome Reverend Dodson and his wife Lori and their family. And it's going to be Sunday, 
July the 11th at the 10 o'clock hour in the Christian Learning Center. Welcome, Reverend Dodson, to you and to your family. We look so forward to learning and growing under your ministry.